All right, welcome back. In our last video, we stopped in the middle of adding shooting, uh, shooting the ball to our game. So let's go back to where we were. We were in our shooting handler on the uh, in, our, in our player character scripts. Uh, so yeah, we got to do the we got to do the shoot ball. So the way that shooting is going to work is whenever we are shooting. Wow. Well, Whenever we're shooting, our shot aim, the thing we created at the beginning, is going to start traveling away from our player. Uh, and it's going to keep traveling until we let go of the shoot button. And then it's going to take the position of the shot aim and the position of the ball position. And it's going to use that to, to uh, calculate the force needed to get the ball from point A to point B. And then it's going to launch the ball. So we need, we need our shot aim and our, and our ball position. So local all position equals uh, player dot character wait for child ball position and our local shot aim equals player character wait for child shot aim. Okay. So when we shoot the ball, okay. So we will say local dir equals shot aim dot position minus ball position dot position and then we will say local duration equals one it's going to be how long it takes the ball to to reach uh point b from point a so if you want the ball to, to be a uh, shot more on the line drive you would lower this value if you want it to be more of like a, a high arcing shot then you would increase this value um we're actually going to tweak this value depending on the distance uh, i'll show you when we get there local duration one local force equals direction divided by duration plus vector three dot new zero workspace gravity times duration times 0 0.50 0. and then now we need to we got the start shot event now we need a local shoot ball event, shoot ball, remote events, ball. We need to go add that before we forget. So we actually want to get rid of that last event we made, shoot ball, because it's, we're using a remote event to do this. Um, yeah, get rid of the shoot ball event because we are going to put it in the remote events. We're going to say script shoot ball, get rid of the hello world. And all right, let's think about this so we we need to go back to shooting handler and we got our shoot ball event we need to say shoot ball fire server and we want to pass through the force and that's it we just want to pass through the force so now we will go back to our shoot ball and we'll say local rs equals game dot replicated storage and we'll say local shoot ball equals rs remote events dot shoot ball and we'll say shoot ball on server event connect function and we're getting the player automatically and then we're getting the force we also want to get the ball local ball equals rs game objects Ball. we actually want to put this in there and for now let's go up to our game and i don't think we ever assigned the ball so we will assign that right now we'll actually do this differently later but it'll this will be fine for right now uh, shoot ball there's the ball and so when we shoot the ball first we want to lose possession do guys you're gonna love this we're gonna make a, another event for it local ss equals game dot server storage and we will say local um, lose possession equals ss events lose possession and so now we'll go to our events we'll duplicate one of them rename it to lose possession and then we'll go up to our events folder in our scripts and we will add a script. We will call it lose possession. And we will say local SS equals game dot server storage. And we'll say local dot lose possession 
equals ss dot events blues possession blues possession um dot event next function and we'll say player dot leader stats dot conditionals dot has possession dot value equals false and we also need to get the ball ball equals local rs replicated storage ball equals rs dot game objects ball we'll say ball dot value dot motor 60 part one equals nil then let's go back to our shoot ball and we're just going to say ooh, something else we need to do lose possession uh, we need to say has possession equals false and we need to say player dot leader stats additionals dot possession pull down value which true then we need to wait let's wait well we need i think we've got a value here but we can say local possession pull down link equals rs wait oh, equals ss dot configuration possession cooldown link so we'll wait for the possession cooldown links but we gotta add the value by possession cooldown link and then we will say uh, let's copy this line about the possession cooldown and so before we forget that means we need to go to the game possession uh the game possession handler all right so we're gonna need to get the local player we're gonna need to get the player from this so we're gonna say player equals game dot players get player from character and then it'll be hit dot parent okay and we'll say if player dot leader stats dot conditionals dot has possession dot value equals false and then if player dot leader stats conditionals dot possession pull down value equals false then gain possession and when we gain possession we also need to say um let's change this a little bit game possession handler uh we'll say we're going to pass through the player instead and we'll also say just for better readability we'll say local ball like the script dot parent so we're going to pass through the player and the ball so go back to the game possession uh script and we'll say player player dot character wait for child ball position all right let's test this out kind of just did a lot has possession is not a value a valid member of players duck hive leader stats conditionals has possession is not a valid i thought it was uh, i did three s's and there we go all right so we are again going to break this up into some more parts uh shooting is a huge gameplay mechanic in our game so uh we are taking our time doing it right and plus it just takes time because it's such a big gameplay mechanic so i'll see you guys in the next one and uh yeah